Hello, welcome to the Dead Code. In this video, we will learn how to enable multi language support on your application on updated version of Android OS. So let's start quickly. So here is my main activity. Let's go to mainactivity.xml. Let's add few text to be translated. So texts have been added. Um, here is my string.xml where the strings in English are referenced, as you can see here. After adding text, just right-click on your string.xml file and open the translation editor. Add the language you want to add by clicking to this globe button. In my case, I am going to add Urdu language here. You will get a new file here. Open it. Now we just simply need to change the English strings to Erduo in the newly generated file. Strings.xml Erduo Locale. Now let me just make a new package here and name it as utils, add a file. Let's say languageconfig.java. Now, I am making a function to change language, and it will return context that we will be using in our main activity where needed. Here is our main activity. Call a function, attach, base, context, and call the function with the language code, let's say English for now.
we will pass the context from this function as new base and language code as second argument. Open your app level build.gradle file and add res config in your languages here. For now we have Urdu and English we will add them. Now open your Android manifest.xml and add config changes and application tag. Let's check if everything is set, it's in English currently. Now I am changing the language to Urdu and let's check if it changes in our app. And yes, it worked. Let's try to change into another language again to see the result. Note that, if I remove Urdu from resconfig and use Urdu in main activity calling class, it will not work. See, it didn't work. Adding back the Urdu language in resconfig and everything is set. In the next video, we will see how to change the language on button click and store in your app settings. Stay tuned.